Hi everyone, I'm Kaylin Allen and I have the pleasure of meeting and telling this story about young activist and student E. Smith. I hope you enjoy learning more about their life and their work with GLSEN and creating supportive school experiences for LGBTQ plus students. I grew up in a suburb of Austin, Texas. Figuring out my identities has really been an ongoing and will be a lifelong process. It wasn't like there was one day when something happened and everything just made sense. But by the time that I entered high school, I knew that I was queer. I wanted queer friends. I wanted that community. And I think that's why it felt so important to me to start a GSA, because I wanted to make sure that I had that sense of community and that I had that space uh, to explore and learn more about myself. GLSEN was really helpful in doing work with my high school's GSA. As I was getting started and figuring out, like, what do I do with this group of people? What are, what are we supposed to do? What's happening? Having the days of action in place was really helpful. There's a concrete structure that's alway, already in place, and I think that was really helpful. And also, uh, GLSEN's research has been really important and influential to me. I had a very long, drawn-out fight with my school about whether or not we can have safe spaces, um, and so I used GLSEN data as a really integral part of those conversations. When I was named Student Advocate of the Year, I was, I was really surprised. Um, I was excited to be able to engage with this organization and with other activists. And I think having that platform was definitely influential in the ways I was able to engage in activism back home. I was still in this fight with my principal about getting safe spaces. And right afterwards, she became really receptive to the idea of having safe spaces and reinstating them in our school. I think in order to be an effective agent of change in any community, you do have to make sure to take care of yourself because if you're burnt out all of the time, if you're tired from always running and working and doing all of the things, you're not going to be able to effectively help other people. You don't have to be on and working all of the time. That's not reasonable to expect from anyone. And especially when you're young, you're still growing and learning. And so you need to make time for fun and rest and growth. Um, and I think that's really important. I think that just always being in this process of evolution and figuring things out is a part of who I am. I think it's always just been a, I think, I think this is the right thing to do. Even freshman year when I was starting my GSA, it was just sort of like, I think it would be cool to have a GSA and we'll see how this goes. And so it's always just, I think, I think it's okay and we'll hope for the best. LGBTQ plus students like me, like me, like me, are counting on your support to help GLSEN continue to transform the ways it fulfills its mission of ensuring safe and inclusive schools. Because right now, we could all use an extra dose of feeling safe. Together, we could raise one million dollars today. Today, today, for GLSEN to ensure respect everywhere. A ten dollar gift provides five LGBTQ plus students with a supportive GSA and a GLSEN trained educator for a year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.